This is life from Mars. It looks like a starfish, but it's extremely intelligent. It can easily break machine parts, and then use the tip to pierce a rubber glove, and escape the incubator with ease. In front of the mouse, it gently caresses the prey in front of it. It wraps itself around the mouse and absorbs it instantly. This is Darwin, the Martian creature. Just as Ryan opened the door to rescue the team, Darwin had already spotted him. As Ryan was about to flee, Darwin wrapped his arms around Ryan's leg. For safety reasons, the captain closed the quarantine gate. The only way for Ryan to survive was to kill Darwin. He pressed it directly into Darwin's body. Darwin fused the pain and abandons the tangle. Then Ryan took out the flamethrower, aimed it at Darwin and flicked the switch. He thought the flame would kill the carbon-based creature. But it didn't work until the fuel ran out. Instead, Darwin was unharmed. In the end, Darwin moved quickly and drilled right into Ryan. Ryan died instantly. Then the flamethrower triggered a fire alarm, leaving a hole in the sealed isolation chamber. Darwin used it to escape. They wrapped Ryan's body up. Now they have to find a way to kill Darwin while trying to get help from ground control. There was an accidental loss of communication. Losing contact is like being stranded on a desert island. The Russian cosmonauts have volunteered to do the job, but the stakes are very high. When the cosmonauts were servicing the communicator, find a lack of coolant in the cooling system. They caused the communicator to overheat and cause a series of malfunctions. The reason for this is simple. Darwin, a carbon-based organism, needed food. It drank all the coolant. At this time, Darwin got out of the cooling system, jumped onto the astronaut. Darwin had gotten bigger and stronger than before. But even so, he couldn't get through the heavy suit. That buys the astronaut time. She now needs to get back to the airlock to meet the captain who's waiting there. But it's a long way to go. And Darwin has destroyed the suit's cooling system. At some point, a large amount of liquid appears in the astronaut's helmet. The fluid buildup is blocking the view. The astronauts had to make a bold decision.